Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Just a few minutes ago, worship ended here at St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church, and I preached uh, on the text from John of the raising of Lazarus. And in that text, we hear the reassuring, life-giving words. See how he loved him as Jesus weeps over his friend, weeps over the grief of a family and a community in immense pain. In the prayers today, we also particularly held up the work and ministry of chaplains in hospitals, in nursing homes, in prisons, in rehabilitation facilities. Chaplaincy runs the whole gamut. I was honoured to work as an on-call chaplain at Christ Hospital and Medical Centre in Oaklawn, Illinois, and also at Tampa General Hospital. And, and although this message is being shared with the folks of St. Armand's Key Lutheran Church, it also goes to my friends and colleagues at Tampa General Hospital, in whom I am constantly in awe, but at a time like this, uh, the word awe doesn't even, doesn't even cut it. St. Teresa of Avila says to God in, in a deep and profound care in prayer, Lord, you have no eyes to see this world but our eyes, no feet to walk this world but our feet, no hands to do good in this world but our hands. At any time and any day, chaplains are those eyes and hands and feet of the divine. But at this time, when clergy like myself, when we can't go into hospitals, when we can't go into rehab facilities and nursing homes, at times like this, you, dear chaplains, you are our eyes and hands and feet and heart in those places we simply cannot go. Please, dear colleagues, know that we love you. Know that we are incredibly proud of the work you do and incredibly aware of the sacrifices you're making. Know that every day I give thanks, knowing that if any of my folks are in trouble, they'll have a chaplain by their side. And know that I'm aware that in many hospitals, like Tampa General, only one member of family is allowed to see a patient. And even then, with great restrictions, it breaks my heart to know that only one person may be at a bedside when someone dies, and the rest of the family joining by FaceTime. It breaks my heart, and chaplains I know breaks yours too hearts that have been broken any number of times in the past, but at this great time, so much more profoundly. We love you. We're proud of you. May God bless you and all that you do and everyone whose lives you touch. And until the day when we can all minister together, God be with you until we meet again. Amen.